Welcome to the Audiophile Baristas weekly vlog number 55 where I talk about coffee, audio and other things that keeps me busy. But first, let's play some music, let's make some coffee. Let me hold this in my left hand. This is not going to be easy. Yes. And then queue up. Perfect. Well, as this record is not on a title, um, I hope it doesn't get flagged, but I've, um, I already played this one a few times ago in one of the other vlogs. This is uh, my hometown, this is the bridge that I've been cycling over every day, and the band is called The Frog, and this is Be Kind to Animals, Kiss a Frog. So that's a little taste of what is playing today. I just made you some nice uh, coffee and I have a little list of the things that I want to talk about today. But first, let me turn this on and maybe you recognize this. This was the room tour video from last week and a lot of you guys, way over a thousand views it has already. So thank you very much for watching and in the video I asked you to respond to Vic's question and you did, a lot of you did with some very very good answers and some very good insights. So this was helping Vic a lot. Um, he sent me an email, this is really helping a lot and the main thing at the moment what he is doing is changing the, um, the fan instead of doing away with the amplifier altogether because he was amazed how many people know this amp and also appreciate this amp so he's not really willing to get rid of it yet he is trying uh, he's going to try and already did um, some other things with the fan noise first so thank you much very much for watching this video and for those who commented uh, on Vic, thank you very much. As you um, as you know, I have done now three of these uh, videos, and I want to do more. I have one waiting. Uh, the quality of that video was very, very low, and it meant that uh, in a few weeks I will. Well, we have to make an appointment yet, but in a few weeks I will be going there because it is in the Netherlands and I will be filming uh, myself. So another room tour video is coming. But then it's, you know, in order to make these videos, I need you guys. So what I did is I made a little uh, introduction video to explain what it is 
that I'm asking from you in order to have you participate in uh, having your system on my uh, channel. And if you look at the description of the three room tours, and there's also a little um, card, you know, what comes up in the, in, the, in the upper corner, that will guide you there, because that is a hidden video, so it is not in the regular feed, but only if you click the link in the dis uh, description box below, you will get there. So if you are interested in having your system show on my channel, please have a look and uh, contact me. The information is in the video. So thank you once again. Um, another thing, if you look over here, we are way over a thousand subscribers now, 1178. And after a thousand um, subscribers, you can get monetized and you may have noticed that you get that you are getting ads on the videos um yeah well the ads will help me a little bit by um bringing in some money because this is not about the money because in one and a half week i, I believe it's now seven dollars or something that the ad revenue is at so i don't know how far that is going to go but um well, it does help this making these videos. Um, it takes a lot of time. So watch those videos and make sure everybody else is watching them and uh, subscribe, like all those things that will help me. Let's go to the room downstairs. Another thing that is keeping me busy. Hi there. Um, Talking about room tours, the first room tour that I did was from a guy called Ronald. If you have not seen that video, make sure to have a look at it. And Ronald was sending me an email some uh, a week ago, something like that. And he said, well, at the moment I am making my own cables. And I was thinking, well, let's have a go at his cables. And there was a specific place, because I have more than enough cables, but there's a specific place that I need cables. By the way, if you are curious about this room, there is a whole video about that also. But today, over here on the side, let me see, can I show you the front? Yes, a little bit maybe. Uh, that is my quad installation. This is the original, um, what is that called? That is the original holder for these, it looks like they're floating, if you do that like, like that. Um, I'm looking for the correct word, but well, anyways. If you look at the rear, you can see it is pretty busy. There's not even too many things that you can really attach to this um, amplifier, this set. But we have some loudspeaker cables, uh, the cable from the preamp to the power amp. There's an antenna for the, for the radio. There is a cable, this from the hull is going to this switch box I have shown you before. This is five in, one out. So this gives me the opportunity to put much more equipment on the quad than um, is normally possible. But here's the thing. Many years ago, I was thinking maybe some 15 years ago, I had somebody make this yellow cable which is a van der Hoel cable to go from the uh, preamp to the tuner um, to make it a short one. But if you look from the side, it still is pretty long and goes pretty far out. So I asked Ronald, can you make a very short cable for that? And the answer was yes, of course. Um, so that is what he is doing at the moment. And if you look at the red cable, which goes from the uh, uh, preamp to the power amp, which is way out there, I would like to have a shorter one for that also. This is a nice QAD uh, cable, but it is just too long. And I'm 
As you know, I am trying to reduce the amount of cables on the rear um, by either changing these double signal cables for AudioQuest cables that only have one. Um, can I show you one over here? Let me reach back a little bit. This is a AudioQuest cable. This is just one cable, a long one that I scored, which goes from, uh, no, which goes to the uh, Nakamichi SR3E amplifier, but it comes all the way down here from this CD player. By the way, in the last vlog, I told you I scored this Valerie June um, CD and I had not ever listened to it. I did, I have now, you know, this is very nice. Make sure that you give this one a listen. Valerie June, the order of time. So that's one of the things that has kept me busy this week is try to reduce the amount of cable behind the quad audio rack. And that's why it's on its side. Okay, so there's one more thing that I would like to talk to you guys about. Well, and as you can see, the uh, surround sound LIN setup has already been placed back and it has already been playing this week because at the beginning of the week it was very warm upstairs and then I can watch movies uh, over here downstairs. So one question that is keeping me busy. Let's use this as an example. So here we have the uh, loudspeaker cables. And I'm sure I told you I'm not a very technical guy and probably when I'm asking this question you will really know I'm not a technical guy. But still I do not have the answer. So if there is any technical guys, girls out there who know the answer, um, oh, please let me know. So this is a normal loudspeaker cable. It consists of two strands of wire. One is the plus, one is the minus, one is the hot and one is the return as they say. So I was wondering if this is a return. And you know there are some of these cables that are extremely expensive. They will have two expensive leads. Now I was wondering, this is my question, is the return important to be of the same quality? Is music only going this way and is this return just to complete the circle or does this uh, return also play a part in reproducing the music that you are hearing? Or could you have an expensive cable for half the price having the hot wire, the red wire? with the good material and maybe a cheaper return. Well, that's one of those questions that I have sometimes. So I thought, well, let's ask you guys and girls, is this correct what I'm saying or is this pure ignorance on my part? Um, um, well, please let me know. So let's go. Um, oh. Ah, this is an intergalactic emergency. Let's make sure then that we finish up the vlog and encounter this intergalactic emergency. Okay, so we're back where we started. This is the end of the weekly vlog. Today was a Friday. Um, next week, somewhere next week, there will be a new vlog. I don't have a regular day because I'm trying to fit in this filming with my uh, work schedule. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.